Hi everyone, Chris, Suffolk Record Collector, back again, another video. Um, I've not done any videos recently, um, but uh, been buying a few records. Um, but this video is a little bit different. Um, so I've got a stack of records that, to show over the next couple, I'm going to do another video soon. Um, but these ones are all records that are coming to the collection. But these are much cheaper. These are fair, fairly cheap records that I've picked up um, out and about in the wild. Um, and this is to prove you don't have to spend a lot of money for records. I'm actually going to tell you, which I don't normally do, but these records were so reasonable that I've found since Christmas um, out and about and stuff, cut, you know, that I'm going to tell you exactly what I paid for them. I mean, you might, a couple of these might be surprising, but um, there's nothing of any great value here um, or anything like that. Um, but for people who are new to the hobby, these are great records. Um, these are great records. So, um, saying all that, we'll get on. Right, first record. I used to have this when I was a kid, um, and it got trashed out of the collection years and years and years ago it's a compilation from the stones um so i picked this up because I, um i think i paid a tenner for this um and it's beautiful condition that is the yeah, album rolled gold for the stones comp of the decker sort of records from decker this is on decker i mean the stuff on here side one starts off from 63 um and it's up to 65, so you've got Come On, I Want to Be Your Man, Not Fade Away, Carol, It's All Over Now, Little Red Rooster, Time's On My Side, The Last Time, Sat Can't Get No Satisfaction, and it goes on from 65, 66, right up to 69. Um, you've got stuff on here like Side 4, for instance, um, Honky Tonk Women, Sympathy for the Devil, Street Fighting Man, Midnight Rambler, Gimme Shower. Um, some of it's in mono, the earlier stuff's in mono, which it should be. Some of it's in, uh, uh, the rest is in stereo, like it should be. Yeah, it's a good sounding record. Like I say, this is beautiful condition. I paid a tenner for this. Um, beautiful condition. Um, it's on the Black Decker label. So I think this is a re, uh, like the first reissue from the first press from 73, I believe. Um, but for a tenner, and the condition, you know, and that's a good sound record, good record. If you're into the Stones, you know, that's a very, very good comp that you can pick up very cheaply. I mean, like I said, I paid tenner. Right, next. Um, this again, this was a bit more, this was getting on for like 15 quid I paid for this. Um, and that's a very good album. Um, that's the album Wavoga by um, the band Redbone. And I don't know an awful lot about them. Um, this is from 73. Um, all that, they're American band, all their stuff, that's on Epic, lovely condition. All their stuff was released over here. Um, but it's not that well. Um, how can I put it? If you go on Discogs, this stuff don't fetch a lot of money at all. Um, this one, um, I think, is more sought after because on side two, it starts off side two, it's got the track Come and Get Your Love, which was a big hit. Um, and when they released Guardians of the Galaxy, it was on the soundtrack to that. Um, and that sort of like pushed it on again, that's about 10, 12 years ago. Um, but other than that, this is a very good album. Um, very good album. Um, starts off side one, Wavoka. Um, track two, uh, Sweet Lady of Love. Someday a good song. Liquid Truth, We Were All Wounded at Wounded Knee. Side two, Come and Get Your Love. Day to Day Life. Clouds in My Sunshine and 23rd and Mad. Um, yeah, I do like this. This is a good album. Um, musically, it's... It's got tinges of disco here and there. Um, 
it's a good listen. Check it out. I don't know an awful lot. I mean, they had another hit, Witch Queen of New Orleans, didn't they, in the earlier 70s um, over here in the UK. But um, not an easy album to find, evidently. Um, so I was, I'm happy to have found out, like I said, I paid 15 quid for that. Um, which I thought was a, a good price. Um, next, we've got uh, Thin Lizzy album, which is an upgrade copy for me. Um, it's a UK first pressing of uh, Thin Lizzy, Johnny the Fox. Not their best album, but still a very good album with a Jim Fitzpatrick cover. Um, this is in lovely condition. Um, again, this was a tenor. That's got the original in there. Song Vertigo. Lovely condition. Um, it looks like upgrade copy for me. Um, I fall off after Black Rose. I fall off things Lizzie a little bit. Um, but uh, a great album. We all know the album. Uh, so I won't dwell on that one too long. But uh, next. Uh, Fiverr. I paid a fiver for this. This is a LP from 69. It's in mono. Um, and that's called Jules and Brian. That's in a flip back cover. Nice condition. Um, it's from uh, Julie Driscoll and Brian Auger. Um, it says on the front here, a great new LP only for 13 and 11. Um, this is a comp of stuff that they recorded between 65 and 60. 65 and 67. This was released in 69. And that's actually a, a Music for Pleasure release, Paul Hamlin MFP. Um, that's a good album. I do like uh, Brian Auger. And Julie Driscoll. Um, I also, I paid a fiver for this and it's in lovely condition. Uh, side one, I know you love me not. Kiko, I don't want to have to do it. Full killer, don't do it no more. Let's do it tonight. Side two, Green Onion 65. I know you, Tiger, if you should ever leave me. Which is a Randy Newman a written song, I believe. And Oh Baby, Won't You Come Back to Home. When you come back home to Croydon, where everybody Beatles and Boots. Um, good album. If you see this out and about and you like this sort of uh, stuff, um, grab it, because it is worth it. Um, I'm going to say I paid a five and, and I don't mind. It's in nice condition. I don't have any problems at all. I don't think that had hardly ever been played. Blue MFP label. I don't know when that uh, label started, but um, I suspect that's an early one. So that, um, another, well I paid £7 for this, and I think that's a steal. Um, it's a common album, but this is in really nice condition. And it happens to be a US first present. So I'm really pleased about that. It doesn't make it no more valuable. I mean, I think you should be able to find this for this sort of money all the time. Um, but um, anyway, that's, uh, that's a soundtrack to, to the iconic movie, Easy Rider. Like I say, this is a 1969 US first press in on Dunhill, which I got this because uh, I've got a copy of this, but not the US, I've got a UK copy, and that's a reissue, um, like a 1981 reissue. Um, so I'm really pleased to have found this. True US first pressing in its original inner. In nice condition, really nice condition. Um, for those that don't know, uh, side one starts off with the pusher, Steppenwolf, uh, Born to be Wild from Steppenwolf, The Weight by Smith, Wasn't Born to Follow by The Birds, If You Want to Be a Bird by The Holy Modell Rounders, Side 2, Don't Blow Gart Me, Fraternity of Man, Man, If Six Was Nine, Jimi Hendrix, Kiri Ellison, Electric Prunes, It's Alright Ma, I'm Only Bleeding by Roger McGuinn, and Ballad of Easy Rider by Roger McGuinn. Great album, love this, just love this album. 
Um, you can find this anywhere, but a first US press might be a bit more difficult to track down. Um, like I say, it's about seven pounds, and it's in lovely condition. Plays beautiful. So really pleased to have got that. <coughs> Next is an upgrade copy for me. Um, it's now by Ro Robert Richard Thompson, and the album is uh, Music from Grizzly Man. Okay. Now, I have a copy of this, but I got I bought a copy two or three years ago, brand new. Um, and it was a reissue, different cover. But my copy is so crackly, that's horrible. Um, over time, it's just become really, really crackly, like that's pressed on, I don't know, recycled vinyl or something. I don't know if it was, but I just, may have just been very unlucky and got a bad copy. Um, so when I saw this for a tenner, I knew what it was. This is the 2017 first pressing, first release of Grizzly Man on vinyl, or excerpts from the soundtrack of Grizzly Man on vinyl. Um, and I paid a tenner for this, and really pleased it plays perfectly. And if you like this album and you've got that reissue, I'd be looking out for a copy of this, because this sounds absolutely fantastic. It really, really sounds fantastic. And that's just got a cover to die for, isn't it? I mean, we all know the documentary, uh, Grizzly Man by Werner Herzog. If you've not seen it, yeah, watch the watch the documentary. Or if you don't know the story of this, you know, do it, watch it because amazing. Amazing. I just love that front photograph there. Yeah, and at Richard Thompson's catalogue, this is an amazing record. Um, so this is the 2017 first pressing. And it was released on, on real heavy vinyl. Um, I can't see, I'll put my glasses on. On proper records. Yeah. Um, this sounds fantastic, like I said. And on the back here, they actually list this as, uh, where does it say here? This audio file LP product contains selections of music performed by Richard Thompson from the original soundtrack CD and it's not the official soundtrack release. This is exactly the same as the reissue with a different cover that you can buy. But I'd be searching out this one. Like I said, I paid a tenner, tenner for this. Um, it wasn't new, second hand. For market, um, a real good, real good uh, sound and copy. Yeah, really good. Next, uh, it's a Stranglers album that I didn't have. Um, again, I think I paid about eight pounds for this. That's uh, Stranglers Four, Radisson of Vegas. We all know the record. Um, I just didn't have it. I used to have all the early Stranglers albums, but they got purged out of my collection many, many years ago. So. I still have a few, um, but I'm having to buy one or two now that have gone past. Okay, we all know the record. But like, I think I paid eight, you about eight quid for this. Eight, ten quid, something like that. Um, not a lot of money at all. It's a VG. VG to VG Plus. That's so not quite the best VG Plus, but it's certainly higher than VG. Um, all well played, looked after copy, basically. Um, plays fantastically. Um, so that's the Stranglers. Next. Now, again, I, I paid about seven pounds for this. I paid seven pounds for this record. Okay. And I was at the market and on the record stall at the market, talked to the guy, and he was going, he was, as he was talking to me, he was, you know, look, going through, posting up some records. Um, and on a pile beside him, he got, this was on top of the pile. And I'd been looking for this for a long time. And I said to him, Is that, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, can have a look at it? He said, yeah, yeah, of can. Um, and I looked at it, and I didn't spot the problem. Um, and I thought, well, that's fucking clean. It's nice, it's a nice, nice copy. 
So I'm expecting sort of like, I don't know, 25, 30, 40 quid from him. So that, that, you know, something like that. Um, I said, how much you want for him? He said, uh, did you read the label? I said, no. Nah. He said, well, read the label. Now, anyway, in the end, I read, I read the label and I thought, ah, okay. It's not exactly what I thought. But anyway, the album, and I'll explain. The album is... Rush, Fly By Night. This is a real top, top Rush album. I absolutely love this. I had this in my collection when I was younger. When I was about, I don't know, 25, 26, so I let it go. And I, even when I did, I thought, no, I shouldn't have let that go, really. Because I'm not that much into Rush. You know, a couple of free albums of theirs, I really do like this being one. Farewell to Kings is another. Um, but, uh, yeah, Rush Fly By Night. Um, I see him come with its original, in, you know, uh, piece of paper, lyric sheet. So, so far, this is a UK first press. Bearing in mind, I paid £7 for this. Condition. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But, it's on Mercury like it should be. But, here is the thing that I didn't notice. That's got uh, record two of a three LP set. So in 75, I know they released, I can't remember what's called, was it called Archives. The first album, second album, the third album, so that'd be Rush. Fly by Night and Caress of Steel. Um, so this is an album from that triple album set from 75. Because I think this was originally released in 73. Uh, 74. 74, I believe. I believe. Because the two albums, this and Caress of Steel, were both released in 74, I believe, and the first album 73. But uh, yeah, so that's what it is. But I mean, just look at that condition. Virtually unplayed. It's in an original UK first press sleeve with the insert. So I still think that that's a bargain at seven quid. I really, really, really do think that's a bargain at seven quid. And it, it plays lovely. Um, so until I can find a, a proper first press of this, um, that will have to do. But these records here that just goes to show you haven't got to spend a lot of money and i didn't just go out to buy cheap records these are all records that are going into my collection that i'm keeping um that i didn't have or their upgrades you know to what i had like i say there's no really really rare records nothing like that here um but it's just to show especially younger collectors uh, and new collectors who go into a nice record shop and they look at the wall they've been collecting it only a couple of three months or something they look at the wall and they think oh yeah 60 quid 100 quid you, you know what i mean and that can get a bit much can't it so that's just to show you that there's decent records about for decent money um so anyway that's this video i've got a couple more videos planned over the next week or so so uh pick them up you know um pick up the video watch the videos if um, you want and uh, I want to thank everyone who uh, watches my videos and comments and everyone who subscribed means a, really means a lot keeps me wanting to do these um, and just share with you what I'm putting into the collection and maybe do a special video now and again for you know different completely different sort of thing but uh, yeah anyway Thanks a lot. Hope you've all had a good Easter and um, catch you all soon.